ghosties this is Fino and today we're back with some more Octopath Traveler I am very excited to be back with stream number three of Octopath Traveler it is it is a game that I just adore I can't seem to stop playing it I've had a blast and I'm very excited to dive back on in and work our way toward getting Cyrus which we will be doing today and right now so to catch everybody up previously we met Ophelia Ophelia is a cleric and her sister was set uh, to go on a pilgrimage to carry the blue flame to a place due to unforeseen circumstances with their father's health Ophelia has had to opt to take her place and take the burden of carrying the flame to and for the pilgrimage instead of her sister so that her sister may stay at home and take care of their dear dear father that about sums us up and previously we have met Therion and Hanet Hanet on their adventures if you missed any of the streams previously I highly recommend checking out the content here on twitch and catching up on the series or check out my youtube channel which also will have all of the wonderful VODs over there starting next week enough of the f catching up and the background let us begin with some more Octopath Traveler hello everybody how are you all tonight I hope you guys are doing it very well I hope everything is working and I'm very very excited to begin our adventure in the search for Cyrus all right where are you at yo We'll go this way, I suppose. There he is. I like his art. His his character looks very cool. Not as cool as me, obviously, but you know, not everybody can be as cool as me. All right, there he is. This is the moment, the moment of truth. The moment in which we kick off his story. Hmm, yes. I I know who stole that tome. Perhaps I should go have a little chat with him just to make sure we all understand him. Just to make sure we all understand one another. No comment. His name is Cyrus and he is a scholar. This is Atlas Dam, nestled in the fertile plains of the Flatlands. It is the home of the Royal Academy, where many a scholar studies day and night. To bring the light of knowledge to the royal family and to the realm. He passes his days in the halls of the Great Library, devouring tomes to his heart's content. It is in that library where he learns of a grievous theft, certain that one of his fellow scholars is the culprit. Cyrus sets out alone to confront the man in his shadowy subterranean study. He will need wise allies on the path he has chosen. What happens if you say no? Is that really something I want to find out? I'm assuming the quest just kind of sits there if you say no. Hear the beginning of the tale, yes. And so it was that Atlas Dam was founded some two centuries ago. He sounds like a nerd. Indeed. Our fair city-state is among the longest standing on the continent of Austera. Very cool. But there was another city-state with a history as long and proud as our own that came to a tragic ruin only eight short years ago. Now, who can tell me its name? How about you, Therese? <laughs> I, um, I think it was... Now, now. No need to get all flustered. 
There's no shame in not knowing an answer, so long as you have a desire to learn. The answer is in your textbook. Go on now, look it up. Could yes, it just professor. give me the answer? You are the teacher. The humming? I believe it was Hornberg. That is correct. Hornberg was ruled over by a royal family, said to be descended from priests of an ancient and long forgotten religion. On the other hand, our fair Athelstan was founded by one of the original clans that inhabited the Flatlands. Hmm. Who can tell me how many clans lived in the Flatlands at the time? Your Highness? The histories have it that eight clans did live in the Flatlands in those days. Eight. I wonder, I wonder why they picked the number eight. Correct you are, your highness. It was a time of great strife here in the Flatlands, as the eight clans waged a long and bitter war. Change would come when the armies of Grandfort invaded these lands some two centuries ago. At the time, the rulers of Grandfort sought to exert their influence over territories inland. Ironically, this compelled the warring tribes to put aside their differences and unite against their common foe. Look at the guy at the bottom left. He's gonna interrupt my class. Oh, but look at the time. Uh, we'll pick up where we left off next time. Don't forget to read chapters three and four before our next lecture. And be prepared to answer questions on any of the material within. Yes, Professor. Thank you for another most stimulating lecture, Professor. Stimulating. Arthur. Love that word. Such a good word. Hello? Ah, Professor Albright, Mercedes from the Royal Library came with a message for you. Seems today is your lucky day. You've been granted permission to enter the Special Archives. Splendid! Splendid! Finally, I can begin my research. The library is just outside the palace. I'd best make haste! Not a second too soon! Tally ho! I just feel like that's... I like the cape! The cape's pretty cool! Where am I going? Can I go that way? <gasps> I want to sit in the throne! I want to be king for a day! His Majesty possesses a unique understanding of the scholarly pursuits. He founded the Royal Library and Academy where nobles and commoners alike can learn freely. What a drab soul he must be. Therese! that giggle. Oh, thank the heavens you're still here. I thought I had missed you. Your Highness. What can I do for you, Your Highness? The 
truth of the matter is... If you can spare the time, I had a question about something we learned today. But of course... But of course, your highness. It would be my pleasure to answer anything. Mm -hmm. After all, my role as your tutor is as important to me as any of my research. Unfortunately, I cannot spare much time. Is the question a quick one? Indeed. Yes, Professor. It will not take long. I was just wondering about the ancient religion of Hornbird. Pray tell, what did they worship? Very astute of you. A very astute question, Your Highness. However, I fear that nearly all the texts detailing the nature of the religion were burned and lost when Hornberg fell. I see. A shame, that. The truth I do, is... however, have a theory of my own. I believe that the royal family of Hornberg were guardians of an ancient power. Mind you, this is not idle speculation. My theory is based off of the fact... Rebel, 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 rebel. Rebel, 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 rebel. Oh, she's got a crush on me, and so does the princess. <laughs> Let us continue the discussion another time. My apologies for keeping you, Professor. With pleasure. No need for apologies, and it would be my pleasure, Your Highness. That such questions occur to you is a sign of a sharp and curious mind. Indubitably so. You. Your lectures on the history of the realm are most fascinating to me. For if I do not learn our past, how can I hope to bring my people to a bright future? Indeed. A most admirable philosophy, your highness. The people of this land are truly fortunate to be led one such wisdom and kindness. Am I truly fortunate to have... As am I truly fortunate, as I am truly fortunate to have a opportunity to serve in some small way. You are far too kind, Professor Albright. Albright. <laughs> I am proud to be your student. Ah. Oh dear, I'm running late. Good day. Pray do not forget your assignment, Your Highness. Farewell. Of course, Professor. There'd be some students crushing on their teacher. Ah, Therese. Oh, hello there, Therese. Yes. Did you have Drag a question for me as well? No. Ah, ah. Good day, Professor. It's not much of an exit if you run toward him to leave. Just saying. Just saying it seems a little backwards. You could have run the other way and then waited for him to leave and just... You made it weird, lady. You made it weird. Hello. The palace gate lies just to the north. To the east, you'll find the Royal Academy, where the realm's most promising thinkers receive their education. Those flowers really put up a fight. So how is everybody tonight? I can't tell how many people are here because my Twitch is like exploding currently and it says I have zero viewers. So that's cool. Hello. Just south there lies the castle town. It's a lively place. Wonderful. Oh. Russell just isn't cut out for that sort of work. Whatever was he, move along now. It's me. Good Sorry. day, Mercedes. Cyrus Albright here to browse of the uh, special archives. <laughs> oh, Professor Albright, you're looking quite eager today. <laughs> mm -hmm. When I heard that the original copy of the Church of the Flame, a complete history, had been donated to our archives, I simply had to be the first to see it. I see. You're more on top of our collection than I am. Just sign here. With pleasure. Gonna have said it better myself. Hmm. Huh. Mm -hmm. 
There's something amiss. Actually, There's someone known as the most brilliant mind in the Royal Academy. <laughs> when you talk about books, you're as giddy as a schoolboy. <laughs> when you put it that way, yes. Much as a child is fascinated by a new toy, I am tilted by the titulated by the prospect of acquiring new knowledge. Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> right, the expression on your face says it all. Anyway, everything's to be in order. Enjoy your quest for knowledge, Professor. Always. Many thanks. Many thanks, my dear. I most certainly will. How odd. The tomb is nowhere to be f the tome is nowhere to be found. Someone return it to the wrong shelf. Hmm, not here either. An interesting These archives are strictly guarded and curated. Wherever could it have gone? Professor Albright. The headmaster would like to see you at once. Does he have my book? <sighs> of all the times. Oh well, might I ask of you a favor? Hmm? What might that be? The truth is... The tome I mentioned before seems to have gone missing. Could you locate it for me? I see. Missing? Huh. I'll begin looking at once, Professor. Many thanks. Many thanks, my dear. Figure out what you're having for, for dinner there, Seth? Finally Service make... All right. By oh. your request, sir. Do enter. My apologies for summoning you on such short notice. How might I be of assistance, Headmaster? That treatise on arcane studies you published. What in the gods' names were you thinking? Sir? I do believe I made my hypothesis perfectly clear. I'm not talking about your hypothesis. Sushi! That sounds... Enjoy your sushi. <laughs> you went out of your way to cite one of the texts in our special archives. The knowledge housed in those tombs is the Royal Academy's greatest treasure. I don't like sushi, no. It is not to be divulged to the public at your whim. Laying it bare in one of your silly papers is out of the question. I am fully aware of the value of those tomes, Headmaster. It is for that very reason I would share the knowledge with my peers. You are to share nothing! That wisdom is for the Academy and the Academy alone. That guy's a bit moody. But that goes against everything... Enough, Cyrus! Even my best argument is sure to fall on deaf ears. The headmaster sees knowledge as a metal or precious stone. Something to be appreciated by its rightful owner alone. Knowledge is power, and power is to be hoarded. An unfortunate attitude, indeed. My sincere apologies, Headmaster. It won't happen again. Is there anything else you need of me? That is all. You may go. Wait. There was one last thing. Sir? 
I heard the special archives will be closing early today. If you have research to do there, I would do so quickly. He's gonna burn the books! Good gods. It's as if he enjoys watching me suffer. For a loaf of bread with bologna? I can't say I would probably take the loaf of... I would probably do the same. Depends on the bread. I'm picky with bread. <laughs> Thank you for your concern, Headmaster. In that case, I'll be on my way. They're gonna try to kill me. He's gonna try to kill me. It's a trap. Don't do it. He's gonna burn you in there. Enter. I wanna make sure the Wi-Fi's are down. The stream seems to be having a hiccup. Apologies. I'll give it a second to catch up, everybody. There we go. I think everything is okay now. Excuse me. What's the matter? Yes, what is it, Therese? Or he's, he's more of a gruff voice, mm -hmm. isn't he? It's about Professor... Oh, that's not the right voice. It's about Professor Albright, sir. These bushes are moving. Hello there. Sure is raining. How does this like scholar dude know combat? Can I help you? Oh, Professor Albright. A moment of your time. Do you have any luck finding that tome? My apologies. I'm afraid not. Say it is not so. Well, this most unfortunate one might conclude that it has been stolen. Actually, Professor, taking books from the archives is strictly forbidden. And as you know, the keys to the vault are entrusted to only a select few. Quite honestly, it would be easier to steal the crown off the king's head. Hmm. A hole. An impregnable vault, a disappearing tome. It would seem we have quite the mystery on our hands. Oh, it's a Sherlock moment. And the mysteries of the world are meant to be solved. Or so the scholar in me says. Would you not agree? Hmm. If it had been stolen, I would say it's your job for the city guard. But I can see you won't let it go until you've cracked the case, as it were. The game is afoot. Indeed. Aha! You could say that indeed. A habit I just can't seem to break. Come now, dear Watson. Or whatever your name is. Once a puzzle is placed before me, I simply cannot rest until I've worked out a solution. I get that. Well, far be it from me to stand in your way. Thank you. It must be tough being a genius. Leave it to me. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll deny it. Not deny it. Worry not. The tome will be back on the shelf before you can bat an eyelash. Bat, 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 bat. Take care. Right. Thanks. Best of luck in your search. Time to do some research. The game. He said it. He said it. The game is afoot. I totally called that. Totally. Oh, I felt good. Hmm. Now, where to begin my search? I suppose I should inquire with Mercedes as to where the keys to the library are stored. The guard at the front door would know who has been frequenting the library lately. 
as might my fellow scholars. Then mayhap I should pay the headmaster a visit as well. Utilize each character's unique action to overcome any obstacle. Cyrus can scrutinize and glean new knowledge from the townspeople. He's a lie detector! What? Let's see now. Testimony, of course. I've got a key to the archives. And no, I wasn't sleeping. I was resting my eyes, is all. But even if I was sleeping, what would it matter? What kind of fool would bother stealing a worthless tome anyway? Most intriguing. All right, so that guard gives no... Never heard what game, uh, word before. Which word? Where are they? Oh, they're in the... They're in here. Let's see now. Testimony. The key to the archives. Oh, I haven't forgot that. But I'm not surprised somebody stole a tome considering what they're worth. I have gambling debts myself, so I understand the temptation. Oh, scrutinize? It's uh, like uh, to analyze something with a, uh, like, it's basically to analyze something, um, but I feel like to scrutinize something would be to analyze it with a negative, a negative perception, I guess would be. I think that's the correct way to, like, I believe that is it. Just to analyze something with a negative perception, I believe would be the way, like, it would read something like that. There you go. Testimony, only Headmaster Yvonne and the guard stationed outside should have a key to the library archives. Most intriguing. Thank you, mod. Definitions are always helpful. Oh, snap. This way? Headmaster! What is it this time, Cyrus? Let's see now. You know full well we I have a key to the special archives, and that I would never be so foolish as to let it fall into the wrong hands. In any event, I have no reason to pursue those tomes in quite some time. Most intriguing. The headmaster's situation. He has a key, this is true, but the I was reading that! I need more gummy worms. Splendid. That should be all the information I need to solve the case. Who possesses the keys to the archive? The headmaster and the guard. But of course. of course, it all makes sense now. God, how could I be so foolish? There are only two keys in the archives, one belonging to the headmaster and one to the guardsman. Whose key was used to unlock the archive? The headmaster. He stole the book. He wants power. He's trying to hide it. I haven't read that book. He has the knowledge. Headmaster. Not exactly. No, that doesn't add up. Let me reconsider this. Damn it. I was wrong. <laughs> the headmaster's key is safely locked away in his office. Furthermore, he hasn't visited the archives today. On the other hand, the guard has been acting suspiciously as late, even sleeping while on active duty. Oh. It would be all too easy a task to lift the key off his person. Where's Therion? I bet you Therion did it. I would steal that key. So it is possible the guard is our man? No, the guard did not do it. That I'm uh, sure of. No. no, he'd have no motive. I love this whole freeze time. This is... So Sherlock Holmes right now. 
The culprit must be someone who understands the true value of the tome. Which is to say, one of my colleagues. It's Mercedes. I bet you it's Mercedes. Not him. Most likely one who's accrued frightful... Are they really going to lay it out this easy? I would have been like, means put it together, and our villain is, I guess it's that guy. It's Russell. Yes. That's too easy! Ah! Come on, game, give me a little bit more credit. Indubitably! I like that word. I think I've used that a couple times. That's Shifty Scholar Russell. Yes, I dare say my logic is foolproof. It is coded logic, one could say. Ha <laughs> ha! Now all that remains is to find our man and make him confess to the crime. Word has it he's been doing his research underground these days. It could be a Phoenix Wright game. Really? We didn't suspect him immediately, considering he lives under a rock in... Now then. I think it's time I did some field work of my own. And so I have taken it upon myself to investigate the suspicious scholar. Interested in coming along, are you? It seems you have quite the curious streak yourself. But of course, mysteries exist only to be solved. After all, it is of utmost importance to remember that. Oh, but there I go again. Don't let me talk your ear off, but I will be glad for your help. Let's get right to business then. No doubt we'll find Russell in his laboratory down below. Oh my god, there are five people chasing me! Just making a tweak here for the stream. This game does keep, this game just has just exceeded all of my expectations. I mean, I don't know. I don't think they all will chase me. I think it will keep it to my party. An interesting dilemma. Fireball and Ice Wind. I think we just got our Black Mage. Oh, yo, he can analyze the magic effectiveness. That's kind of cool. Three party members and a random guy. Coming if thou darest. I'll do my best. Break. What's yours? Yeah, he's quite good. Ooh. Come in if thou darest. An interesting dilemma. Ooh, Cyrus might go down. Out of my way. Try death. My turn now. Let your wounds be
hunt's beginning. Alright, so he's fairly useless physically. Pretty cool. Not bad. A passing Nice. Now, let us hunt him. My turn. I'll do my best. Break. Nice. Alright, so Fireball will hit both. <laughs> yeah, deal a little to all foes. Cool. So he's our AoE-er. I actually think our current party is going to be pretty good long term. Ah, we didn't get anything. That's fine. Coming, if thou darest. Yeah. I'll not be defeated. Nice double level up. All right. But first, we're going to go buy a staff for our scholar.
All right, so you can't equip something that's uh, you can't sell something that's equipped, which is kind of nice. Alright, so now we should be all geared up. I feel a lot better about that. Already saving. In we go. All right, so hopefully that will help our damage output a little bit more. Get wrecked! The flame guides us Boom. Cyrus just continues to level up. Let in the hunt begin it. 
Being able to break multiple enemies is going to be very valuable. Big bat. Letting the hunt begin. Out of my way. I'll not be defeated. Yes, now punch him. Yes. I'll not be defeated. Yet. Fourteen damage. Oof. Come in if thou darest. My turn. Break. All right. My turn now. <laughs> Let the hunt begin. We're leveling up nicely. We are progressing very nicely. Baddies get wrecked. It's just how it, does. it's just how it goes. I knew there'd be a way over here. Aha! We found it. I knew it had to be over there. Out of my way. 
Don't start things Rinse again. and repeat. Yes, I adore the game, Zudud. It is fantastic. And how are you tonight? I want to catch the fire guy. I don't have anything fire related for her yet. Yeah, the game is fantastic, Zudud. It is surpassed all my expectations and just continues to put a smile on my face while I'm playing it. We now have four or three and a half. We haven't quite fully unlocked Cyrus, but we're getting there um, of the eight characters that are in the game. And I was texting with... Uh, talking to Dave today and he also he's also having a good time with the game as well now, let us hunt him. My turn now. <laughs> let the hunt begin it Give me that grape. Well then. May the sacred flame shine forth. An interesting dilemma. Let my arrow fly in truth. Get wrecked. My arrow fly and true. Now, what next? 
Boom. Obliterated. There's a chat. I almost missed that chest. I saw it. No I point. saw it. It's there. I know it is. Letting my arrow fly in true. I'll not be defeated. <laughs> what is the logical course of action? Oh, ice. Here's some proof. Get annihilated. The flame guides us through. Yes, the flame does. Professor Albright? Are you always in the habit of barging into your peers' offices while they're working? Excuse me. My apologies. I would have knocked, but I didn't see a door. A moment of your time. Apropos of nothing, mayhap you've heard a certain tome was stolen from the archives. <laughs> I haven't the faintest clue what you're talking about. Come now, Russell. We both know that's not true. Haha, -ha, playing dumb is not going to drag this out for the both of us. So let's cut straight to the heart of the matter. You're a thief, and I can prove it. <sighs> what? With the hells you can? The truth is... Unfortunately for you, at precisely that moment you were trying to sneak back with the key... Your friend the guardsman was just waking from his little slumber. Oh. Uh, uh, That's impossible. He was asleep. I'm positively... Ah. Uh -huh. Keeping up on our friend Solemns, are we, old chum? <laughs> it, it was a slip of the tongue, I tell you. I know nothing about the goddamn book! Figured you say as much. Then perhaps you'd care to accompany me to the academy to prove your innocence. <gasps> damn it! Damn it all hell! It was the perfect plan, if not for you and this meddling kids! I don't think this one will listen to reason. Do my best. 
to my arrow flying true. Beginning. Well then. <laughs> what up, Waltz? How are you? Welcome back. You're just in time for boss number four. We are still collecting party members. Yes, we are on party member four. We took a four hour break, so you didn't you didn't really miss that much. We did take a break this afternoon. I haven't been playing nonstop. I went and ate some dinner. You should have just clicked on one of my VODs. You could have, all the stuff's there. You could have just put on my adorable little voice and listen to me while, while you counted sheep in your sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's usually how I am. As soon as I do just about anything, I'm at, I'm just that's that. I'm up. Apothecary for the break. Thou darest. 
using this. That's no fun. I hate it when I wake up to go to the bathroom and I just can't fall back asleep. After this boss fight, we're going to go take a quick break. I'm going to top off my coffee. Another giant boss. I think all the bosses are going to be fairly large. I think it's the art style. The I think it's just the art style the game's going for. Is that why you wear diapers when you sleep, Zoo Dude? Letting the hunt begin it. Holding back nothing. Oh, two thousand. Them wolf hits. And welcome back, Seth. I swear I never meant to. I just needed the money. Just so. That tome would fetch a small fortune. This is true. And yet, did you not for a moment consider the consequences? Say it is not In so. In stealing that tome, you would steal our students something more valuable than all the realm's riches. A grave crime, no matter who would perpetrate it, but all the more unforgivable when committed by one who calls himself a scholar. How unfortunate. Thank you. Well, Alpi, you actually did crack the case of the stolen book. Indubitably. Indeed. That I did, and yet I fear this may not be the only volume our friend had purloined. <laughs> Russell has already confessed to the full extent of his crimes and revealed the names of his business associates. We need only track down the books and purchase them back. 
I'll speak to the guards and see that we redouble our security of the archives. What's this? It says there's another book still missing. Did that scoundrel of a scholar steal this one as well? Actually... Ah, from the far reaches of hell. No, I can assure you that he did not. It's been missing for some 15 years now. Russell's aggressive borrowing only extends to some two years back. I see. So this volume was lost or stolen long before that. Yes. Right, as always, Professor. Pray tell me more about the far reaches from her. The from the far reaches of hell. According to our records, it would seem to be a compendium of ancient rites and long lost magics. Actually if I'm not mistaken, it was a single oldest volume housed within our archives. Needless to say, it was a tremendous loss. Most intriguing. Oh, oh yet a, another mystery it would seem. Professor Albright, the headmaster, would speak with you at once. This also makes... Again? What could it be this time? <laughs> Perhaps he plans to commend you for your role in apprehending the library thief. I highly doubt that. I have no interest in accolades, but if he insists, it's definitely not for accolades. He's going to yell at you. But we're going to find out what's going to happen in a minute because I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to make some coffee. It'll be a really long ass minute for anybody watching the VOD because we're going to wrap up the recording. So we'll see you in a day or two. <laughs> Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the game as much as I am. It is fantastic. I will be right back with some more coffee. And yeah, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you very much for watching, Ghosties. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to give it a like, give it a share, and come back very soon for some more great content here on the channel. No idea what we will be playing next, but I hope it is just as exciting as it was today. Feel free to come check me out over on Twitch at Fino Games. Thank you all very much for your continued support. And as always, till the next video.